Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be straight down to the table. It's going to be a quick review today for a new pod kit. This is by SX Mini, or Yeehee SX Mini as they're now known. It's going to be the SX Mini MK Pro Class. On the box, plain white box, it says SX Mini, innovation for you. Use nicotine warnings around the box, nothing at all. Just tells you the colour here, mine's going to be black and gold. On the back, few details there to read. Inside this box, get a few things. Got to get a little micro USB-C charge cable, a little user manual and a little warranty card. Inside this silver packet will be your pod. I've already taken mine out, obviously. Got to get a little rubber band here. This is to put around the device itself to use as a lanyard. No lanyard included, but you can use this for a little lanyard. This part here is like a little cap from the top of the pod. Show it in a minute. It does come with two coils. The both will be mesh coils. One's will be a 0.8 ohm, one's will be a 1 ohm coil. Both of these will look very similar. Talk about that later on. I've been using this already, but when they sent me this one, they sent me a little packet of coils. So I've been using one. This one will be the 0.8 ohm mesh coil. So in this review, I will try the 1 ohm. You can buy these in packs of 5. It says there if it's going to be 0.8 or 1 ohm. Yeah, let's take these out quickly. Like I said, they're both very similar in looks. Even the um, wicking parts of these coils look very similar. So I think that they should have the red O-rings on the 0.8 and maybe on the one home change it to a black O-rings. That way you can tell the difference because at the box you can't really see. I have to zoom in to read this one. So yeah, this is the first coil. It's going to be the 0.8 ohm mesh coil. Recommended between 12 and 18 watts. On this device, you can't set the wattage or the power. It does it automatically for you. Second coil is going to be the um, one ohm coil, which is here, it says M1. One ohm coil between 8 and 14 watts. But like I said, these coils look identical in shape and size, even the wicking parts are the same. Really hard to tell the difference. This one, the one ohm, is maybe a slightly bit tight bore than the 0.8, but not much difference. So this one with red is fine. I think the one ohm coil should come with black O-rings so you can know the difference. And yeah, here we are the MK Pro Class itself. Like I said, mine's going to be black and gold. It's got a pattern here. It's like a paisley sort of pattern. I think they're using that um, process where it's like a photochemical etching for this pattern. I've seen this before with SX Mini. It's going to be a little tube device, obviously. Gold accent at the top, gold accent at the bottom. It looks like that's going to be airflow control. It's not. It's just there for pure decoration. So yeah, in the middle band here, it's got the engraving. It says SX Mini. MK Pro Class. It's been designed by ZJ Shen. Don't know who that is, but yeah, it's got that engraving all the way around. But like I say, all of these gold accent rings, they don't do anything. This isn't like an adjustable wattage or an adjustable airflow. It's just there purely for decoration. On the base, USB C charge point. This will charge at one amp, I do believe. Built-in battery, this one will be 700 milliamp hour battery. Top part will be a pod. Just take it out. So this pod here, it's going to be a fixed mouthpiece. But it's a nice small mouth lung sort of mouthpiece. So I do like that one, I must say. It does say SX Mini MK Pro on the outside. Around the thing itself, a little silicon there to fill it. Coils with this one, just push fit. I've changed this one now. Like I said, it's going to be the um, 0.8 ohm coil. I'm now going to try the 1 ohm. So you need to get... That's the 8. That's the 1. That's why that would be easier. This is going to be black o-rings. You can know the difference. So these coils just push straight in, like so. What I'll do first, get some juice. This pod's made from PETG plastic. It holds 2 mils of e-liquid. So yeah, if you've got a new coil, always prime it first. The juice I'm using would be my Cryptide Energy. I've got five of these on Sunday. I've been enjoying these ones. This will be my fruit punch flavour. So yeah, I've got a new coil. Always put a few drops inside. Just to start the wicking. And then just push the, pod, the um, coil straight in the pod. Very simple, very easy. Put your finger here, pop it open. Not easy when your finger's actually wet. Yeah, pop it open. Little fill hole there. It's quite simple to fill. It is going to be a dark sort of smoky plastic, but it's quite easy to see your juice levels. 
can't remember if I said but it will hold two moles of e-liquid. When it's filled up, just pop it in, push it down, get any juice those, wipe it off. So yeah, that's a pod, plain and simple. Inside the main body, you got your contact points there and your magnets. This one is going to be purely auto draw. There's no buttons to change the power, no buttons to fire it. It's purely is a fillet, suck on it and vape. Put the pod inside, put it inside that way. It's not all the way in. You turn it, it will fall into place. Those magnets are quite strong, but no issue with it falling out. There's no wobble at all with this one. Like I showed you in the packaging there, you get that little band. There's no lanyard included. You can use a little lanyard on that hook. You can put this around this part here. Like so. Tied up to a lanyard, or you could just use this cap to put over this part to keep it nice and clean in your pocket. I take that off. I don't really use it myself personally. It's a nice, classic, elegant design. I like the black. Not too keen on gold. It's not quite my sort of thing. The chip inside here will be the um, SX366. Like I said, 700 mAh hour battery. Size-wise with this one, it's going to be 112 millimeters from the base to the top. Diameter will be 18 millimeters. And like I said, no button, no adjustment. Just purely suck on it and vape. So yeah, have a quick vape with this one. So yeah, I've been vaping this one for about a week and a half. That's going to be the 0.8 ohm coil. It's still going strong, I must say. This one, the 1 ohm coil, first time I've ever used it. So what I'm going to do is vape on this one for about 5 hours. Then I'll record the final thoughts later on. For me, it's going to be 5 hours. For you, it will be right now. So yeah, that was your close and personal of the SX Mini. MK Pro class, like I said there in the up close, I've been vaping on the 0.8 ohm coil about a week and a half. This one, the 1 ohm coil, about 5 hours now. Got a quick vape again. And as you'd expect from mesh coil, really good flavour. That's both of this one, the 1 ohm, the 0.8 ohm. Before I go any further, I want to say a big thank you obviously to SX Mini for sending this my way for review. Gonna go over the good points and the bad points. There's a lot of good points, not really many bad points. The good points will be, it's a real simple kit, this one. It's gonna be no buttons to fire. It's pure auto draw. You can't adjust the wattage, it's not power settings. It's just gonna be based on your coil for the power it gives you. There's no airflow control. That's a good point in a way. Maybe a slight bad point later on. The good point will be with these coils, 0.8 and a 1 ohm coil. The airflow has been quite good for me, I must say. This one, the 1 ohm. It's giving me a slight loose mouth along. Not too loose. It's not going to be a tight mouth along by any stretch of the means. The 0.8 ohm coil, it was more of a slightly looser mouth along, not going to the debit lung sort of category. So these coils are working for a mouth to lung, loose mouth to lung, and very loose mouth to lung. It's not going to be for your direct to lung vaping, obviously. I'll say because of those coils, there's really tight ball inside them. That's helping to restrict the airflow. I'm not too sure how the airflow is getting into this one, I must say. I've looked around the device. I can't see how it gets in there, but it does. Going to get on to the battery life. 700 milliamp hour. It got me through almost a day, but not quite. But I'm quite a heavy vapor sometimes. If you're a real starter, this may get you through the whole day quite easy. One amp charging, it took me about an hour to charge. So it's quite quick to charge. Gonna go over the looks. It is a real elegant design, I must say. I like this black paisley pattern. The gold banding, it's gonna be a bad point for me personally. Some people might find this really attractive. I like this one in all black. I'm not big on gold, but that's neither here nor there. That's personal. So yeah, the bad point will be obviously with this one, there is no adjustable airflow. But like I said, those coils are performing well with the air it's getting. And also there's no power setting. But again, the power it's given me for this coil, the one ohm, the 0.8, has been sufficient. Flavour-wise with these coils, the 0.8 ohm coil, slightly better flavour. This 1 ohm coil, 
good flavour, but not quite as good as the 0.8. I would say the 0.8 ohm coil, the flavour will be a good 7.5 to 8 for pod style device. This one, the 1 ohm coil, about a 7 to 7.5. It's not bad flavour, it's a decent flavour for a stock coil sort of pod system. So yeah, like I said, it's a real... Sorry about that guys, I had to pause for a second. Our next one neighbours had a new baby, she was just crying, so I had to just pause for a second. You may hear a baby crying in the background, it's not mine, it's next door neighbours. So yeah, the MK Pro Class, it is a nice, elegant design I must say. It's going to be available at four different colours. Like I said, I like this black paisley pattern, just I'm not keeping the gold, that's going to be personal. It's a simple starter kit for a new vapor or a smoker looking to quit smoking. Because it's going to be one that you can just put your coil in a pod, fill it up, let it saturate for five minutes, put it inside and vape away. No buttons, no adjustable airflow, no adjustable power. Just a simple fill, install and vape. So yeah, I've been enjoying this one. Guys and girls, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to me and not subscribed, why not hit the button down below? If you do hit the button down below, click the little bell for notifications. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next one.